Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to do double exposure, and I'm going to show you how to do it very, very quickly and thoroughly. I've got a, a really quick mock-up here I did here with a French Bulldog and a nice little um, mountain scene, and you can see the mountains and the, the cabin kind of bleeding through to the pupper. And I'm going to show you how to do this in like, yeah, a couple minutes max. So let's just go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to delete all of this stuff. And uh, yeah, I've got some stock footage. So here's the picture of the pupper do. Uh, that's a good looking potato, eh? All right, but either way, let's get going. Let's go ahead and start dropping in the images. The first one I'm gonna drop in is this puppy dog here. And I'm gonna put him on a new, well, let's do a new one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click open and bang, we've got our puppy dog. I'm gonna unlock it here just in case. And the second image that I'm gonna use is this fancy dancy cabin in the woods looking thing I'm gonna drag and drop that on top of the puppy dog and it's a smaller image than the pupper so I'm just gonna go ahead and expand it out and because it's gonna be used as the double exposure it's not a big deal if it's a little bit yeah, if it's just a little bit not super 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 high res because it is the backup use one so I'm just gonna move it over here and I'm gonna let's see where would I want the puppy uh, do I want yeah, let's go with this. We don't want the puppy. We just want the mountains, maybe, because it kind of has this huge, it has this bright to dark look. So we're just going to put the mountains inside uh, as a double exposure for the pupper. So I'm going to place that, hit enter, and now you're going to see here I've got the top image and the bottom image. I dropped that off. Puppy dog on top of it is the mountain and the lake and all that, and that's going to uh, go through into the puppy. All right, the next step that you want to do, and we're gonna do this in color, but you can also do this in black and white. We'll do it in color, but if you wanted to do it in black and white, the first step would be to left click on the adjustment layer down here and go ahead and create a black and white adjustment layer, and that would make it all in black and white, but let's do it in color first. All right, so the first step is on the top image. You want to select the blending mode, and instead of normal, we want to go all the way down to screen. And as soon as you do that, you can tell that we are in business. <laughs> so we are rolling, guys. The next step, if you're following along with me, is we now want to go back to the original layer, which is the pupper dog. And we want to go up here to select subject. We want to select the dog. And it's going to select the puppy. As you can see here, it selected the puppy. And now we're going to go back to the top layer here. So make sure you're on the top layer, which is our uh, pleasant little landscapey cabin thing. And we're going to left click on add layer mask. Left click there and boom. Now you can see it's starting to bleed through to the pupper and we are completely on our way. After that, if you want to continue, like this could be bang on for some of you, depending on the colors in the background and how bright and how much of a contrast there is. But what you want to do now is by making sure you're still selected on this, left click over here on the brush tool. I'm going to select a brush. I'm going to keep the flow around like 20%, yeah, 19, 20, 21%, whatever, something like that. And we're going to go ahead and paint in some of the bits and pieces. Now, you want to have the foreground color here set to black. So because this is, we're working with masks here. And now watch what I do. I'm just going to blend this in because like this is a pretty rough, uh, like this, you could see that it's quite a rough crack here. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this in a little more than I would normally. So I'm painting that in. I'm going to paint in some of the eyes here and I'm going to paint, I don't know, some of these clouds look a little bit rough to me. So I'm just going to paint that in. Um, again, this is totally up to you what you guys want to do and don't want to do. I'm just going to show you the technique and I'm going to paint in a little more here. So we've got some more uh, more puppy. We're basically painting in more of the dog and taking out a little less of the background image. But again, this is completely up to you how you want to do it. This is, however, the technique. Now I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to delete this mask and we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to actually going to delete the top image and I'm going to show you how we can do it in black and white. And this gives you a better or more realistic uh, look because sometimes if the pictures aren't if they're using completely different colors like those two were, it doesn't always look right. So I'm going to drag and drop in the background image on top here, like I did last time. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to make this nice and big. I'm just going to hold down Shift so that it um, 
expands expands proportionally. I'm going to move it to the left here because we're going to bring in we're going to bring in the we're going to bring in the log cabin looking thing there. And bang, it's on top. Perfect. Now the next step, if we're going to do it in black and white, is you like I said, you want to create a new filler adjustment layer. And now we're going to go to black and white. This goes to the top. This is going to make our job a lot easier, and it's going to look a lot better. Uh, now we're going to select on the second image, which is the one, the top image, and we're going to select the blending mode, and we're going to again move it back to screen, and boom! Now, puppy dog, and we've got that lake image all sort of bleeding into one. The next image, like we did last time, is we're going to go to the bottom layer, and we are going to select the subject. So we go to select subject, and it's going to pull in the pupper, most of the pupper, and now we're going to go back to the second image, the top image, and we are going to create a layer mask. And boom, now we are on our way. Now, if we want to drag it and make a little bit more work on this, again, let's go back to the brush, making sure you are on black. And I've got a normal, yeah, I've got a soft round brush, and I'm just going to brush in a little bit here. And as you can see here, I'm bringing in some more of the puppers. And yeah, and yet you could still see, I know that last little stroke didn't help much, yet you could still see the mountain coming through, and presto, we've got a pretty cool looking uh, double exposure effect there. I mean, that's all there is to it. If you wanted to go one step further, go back to the original layer. I'm going to turn the first two off. Go back to the original layer. If you don't want this white stuff in outside of the pupper, go to go to select subject like we did every time and of course it's going to select our pupper but now we want to go to inverse select inverse so we're selecting everything outside of the dog now and now what I like to do is I go to edit and then I cut it so we're getting rid of everything outside the pup and now if we turn our back if we turn it back on we have just the dog with all, all that white background and if you wanted to see it a little further you can go ahead and go ahead and create a solid color like I just did here. So I'm going to right click on the adjustment layer, solid color, and then we would put them up against, uh, oh, not a back background. Holy smokes. Uh, we'll put up on the white background. We'll move this now to the bottom. So I'll move this guy up. That's easier. And boom, we now have our puppy against a pure white background. That's it, guys. That's double exposure in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.